What's up guys, an average origamist here, and in this video we are going to be making a rose. Now this is a really, really uh, slick model. It, it's it looks it, it looks really natural. It, it's with the like curves. Here is the picture in the book. And just one thing about the paper you use. The smaller the paper, the harder it is to fold, like significantly harder. So I would recommend starting a good size first. But if you get good enough, you can fold a really small one like this. But again, it's going to take practice. So first step, white side up, fold in half both ways. Next step, we're going to take this edge, fold it to the center, this edge to the center, this edge to the center, and this edge to the center. Be as accurate as possible. Always. You should get, you will get this nice little grid. You got a four by four grid. Uh, next step, we're gonna fold all the corners in to this point, and this point, and this point, and this point. So like this. Alright, next step, we're going to flip this puppy over, and we are going to make a crease from here to here by folding this, uh, by folding this crease to this crease, and a crease from here to here by folding this crease to this crease. Uh, to do that, we're going to crease up the middle like this, and just fold the middle crease to each, to each crease. Make sure to line up those creases. Now the other side. Do not do this on all four sides. Just, just the top and bottom. No, oh, actually, sorry, we do do this on all four sides. My bad. Now, do it to the other two. Alright, now you'll get this this kind of grid. 
Next step, we are going to make kind of like a little square of creases right, right here. Um, to do that, we take this crease to the middle, this crease to the middle, this crease to the middle, and this crease to the middle. But do not crease all the way across. Just crease from these, like from the center of this square to the center of this square. So, so like this. If you crease a little too much, it's not a big deal at all. So crease from from here to here, and you'll end up with. You'll end up with a crease like this. Now do it to the other four sides. The other three sides, sorry. And now, if you look closely, um, you, you have a nice little square, square of creases in the center, in, in the center of the grid you made. Um, okay, next step, we are going to make a crease from here uh, to the corner of the little square we just made by folding by folding this point to this point. So basically folding it in half. Okay, so we've gotta fold it in half. You go to you go to the little square we made. So I think I went too far. Yeah, I went too far. You, you, you crease to right here, not the center. So this is the center. This is the center, so you crease to here. Like that. Uh, do this to all four sides. Yeah. So, do not go to the center, go to here. All right, next step, we are going to make a crease from here to here by folding this point to that point, like this. And do this for all four sides as well. Again, do not crease this all the way. Just, just create the crease from here to here. Alright, now that we have that done, we're going to flip it over, and do I need to zoom in? Not yet. Once, once it gets smaller, I'll zoom in. Um, we're going to be making a crease from this point to this point. This point, uh, the square is... The square is right here. So we're making a crease from there to there. Uh, there to there. There to there. And there to there. Just like that. So that's those are the creases we're making right now. And to do that, we take this edge and fold it to the corner like that. Do not crease this all the way. 
just to basically the center. Yeah, the center. Just increase it from the left edge to the center. See, like that. Just like that. side to go all right now that we have those four we are going to uh, temporarily fold so let's start with this side uh, this crease right here fold it in half or just fold along it that we've already made this crease so fold it fold it like this okay uh, you don't have to flip it over, but I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, no, don't flip it over. All right, just leave it like this. Uh, take this corner and just fold it here to make a little square. Fold it to this crease intersection. And unfold. And just do that to all four sides. So the rest of the two sides. So it's literally just like this. Um, do not do it on the right side. Do it do it on this side. There is a crease here. Do not do it here. Do it here. So this is the last one. Okay. So we just made like this triangle thing on all, all four sides. Um Alright now now we're gonna do some real folding, so not pre-creasing. So let me zoom in. Uh, all right. I want you guys to Yeah, I want you guys to fold it in half like this All right fold it in half fold it in half like this And then fold it in half like this so we've got this kind of like plus shape thing Okay, um So it's in half like this. Press on the center. Press on the center like this. And crease it exactly like that. So do this. Fold in half. Crease the middle. Fold fold the middle in half like that. And it'll naturally, with the with the creases we've already made, it'll naturally fold flatten like this. So again. Fold in half, push in the center, push in the center like that, and just collapse it like this. Okay, now take this top flap, fold it down, just like halfway, fold it like this, fold it like this, and then take this flap and fold it halfway like this. Now. Now unfold these two flaps and you will get this you will get this spiral this spiral type thing okay uh, now it gets a little bit tricky for the next couple steps we're not creating any new creases but we're we're like twist folding kind of it's it's pretty cool but it's um, at the, like for your first couple tries it's gonna be kind of kind of weird but um, all right so look at the top there's this crease, uh, yeah, this crease, this crease, this crease, and this crease. We're going to be folding along them for now. So take, take each of the flaps, each of the flaps, and fold along its corresponding crease. So like this. We're not creating any new creases. All right. 
So it's gonna look something, <laughs> something like this. Okay? So now this is right, I promise. It doesn't have to like stay together. But, like this is this is fine how it is. Okay, now let's let's look at the, let's look at this flap first. Yeah, this is good. Let's look at this flap. Um, there's a crease here, and you see the triangle you made. So we're going to um, fold the triangle in, fold inside reverse, fold this, and fold this over like this. And but do not like undo what we did last step. So exactly like this. So it should look like this. So it's like this. Fold this, fold this over, and this this triangle in like this. Okay. And and we're gonna do that for all the sides at the same time. So now this side. And it's gonna kind of like twist. All right. And finally, this side. Uh, this is easily the hardest step of the whole thing, by the way. But like trying to twist it correctly. So and then you can like kind of twist it and hold it like this with your hand. So. With your, with your other hand. So you, you'll get this kind of like spiral shape and on the other side, you should get this kind of like box type thing. Now go, um, one, once you have it twisted like this, just poke your finger on the inside and like flatten it out kind of, smooth it out, all right? Um, yeah, this is good. All right, next step. What is the next step? Right. Uh, this next step. Okay, the next step is for each of the flaps you just folded. There's a little triangle right, right here. There's a little flap right here. Fold this flap up, just like that, and you'll be able to do this. You'll be able to do this. For every single one. So now we've got this flap. Fold it up. Try try to keep the shape of the rose kind of, but it, it really as long as you keep the general shape. It it doesn't have to like it's not gonna look like a rose yet. Um fold this flap up and fold this flap up. Like that. Okay. Now, now we can twist it in this shape. We're gonna keep it in this shape. Like, cause last step I kind of undid it again. But if you, if you twist it around like this, right? We're, we're not gonna undo it anymore. So next step, um, we're going to fold each flaps. Like we, we have these rectangular flaps. And right here, we can fold this over like this. So, okay. So we get this triangle type thing. And do this for all the flaps. Wow, with your left hand, keeping it in this in this shape. So, just like that. Okay. Now you got this. It's not gonna like stay, but that's okay. Like the flap you just folded over. Um, now we fold it like a cardboard box. So you see the box in the middle? Keep it orientated like this. So start with, it doesn't matter what flap you start with, but all you have to do is, let's start with this one. So fold this one over. Now fold, I can only do this step once, so pay attention. Um, fold this step, fold this flap over. Now fold this flap over. Fold this flap over, and finally, fold this flap under the first one, like a cardboard box. Just like that. And you'll get this, 
We're done with the bottom. It locks. It should not unlock. If it does, you did it wrong. Just saying. All right. Now we got the rose part. It doesn't look like a rose yet, but it will, guys. I promise. I mean, it kind of does, but... Okay. Uh, now the fun part. <laughs> Try to curl your rose without ripping it, basically. So let's, let's do that. First, you see how the middle is like closed? We want to open that up. So just really carefully, just keep going around and like pull the center little by little until it opens up like this. And you'll be, eventually you'll be able to press in the center so it's not like bubbling out. All right. Honestly, at this point, you can style it however you want. But this is how I style it. And this is how the book styles it. So you'll get this. Okay? Um, now we are going to... Now we're going to curl. Now we're going to curl. So let's start with the, bo with, with the bottom outside. So you'll see these, these four like triangular flaps here, here, all the way around. Uh, curl these out. Be very careful not to rip it since the whole thing is like curved. And me saying that will probably... Yeah, see, I just, I just ripped it. Right here. You gotta be extremely careful. <sighs> okay, sorry. That's okay. I, I can hide the rip pretty well. There, like, it's... Eh. Alright. Um, there has to be, like, a better technique. Maybe you can kind of flatten it, and then curl it, and then unflatten it, but no, you just gotta be... You just... Don't do that. You just have to be really careful. Oh, okay. Here's here's a pretty good technique. Do do one side at a time. Don't do don't just rip it down at the same time. Uh, do like ease it down. So like I'm doing the left side now. Now I'm doing the right side of the flap. Going back to now I'm doing the center. Yeah, that, that okay. That's 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 how you should do it without ripping it. I just figured that out now. So sorry sorry about that. Um, so let's do it one more time. Pull it down. Do the left side. Now do the right side. Now do the center, just like that. No, no rippage at all. All right, very nice, very nice. Finally, we're going to uh, we're going to curl the inside. So you've got these these four like uh, ridges, I guess. Uh, curl these down. Um, probably from like here to around here. So don't don't do it too much, or it will rip. Like 100% will rip. Just, just like that. God damn it. All right, something, something like that. You do it, do it for all four. part takes patience. There we go. Two more to go. I'm doing my it's taking so long because I'm doing my best not to like well, not to rip it like that god damn it <laughs> this is not easy whatever it gives it it gives it character all right last one
All right, that's not bad. <laughs> I really, ah, uh, that's rough, but that's okay. All right, guys, so um, that's how you curl the rose. Now, ideally, you don't rip it where I did. <laughs> um, just take take your time. The, the more you fold this, the, uh, the better you'll get at curling it. But, yeah, it, this is the rose. It looks really, it's really, really nice. It's like the, the curves of the rose look really natural. Um, you can also put a stem. There's there's a little opening in the middle, in the bottom of the middle. You can put a stem uh, to hold it like this. See, kind of, <laughs> sort of. Uh, but yeah, it's the rose. Now it's, again, the, the one step where you uh, kind of like twist the whole thing, it takes some getting used to, but it'll come together. It'll come together. Just rewatch the video over and over. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I hope you were able to fold the rose from this. Um, again, it, it takes some practice, but yeah. All right, guys. Uh, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.